is my mind I'm all for a good start I hear those jingle bells People singing about love It feels like I'm a kid Like I'm forever young And that's why I want to sing about The Christmas on its way A reason to hang around And celebrate this day Everyone's smiling And it's snowing, it's the time of year again I'm happy you're here, my winter wonderland I'm walking around making small talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh, it gives me joy That everyone's having a good, good time I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love Like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young And that's why I want to sing about The Christmas on its way A reason to hang around And celebrate this day Everyone's mine Cheers to Thursday Oh my gosh, so the twins are home. They did not have school today because of weather reasons. And then the older two school was a two hour delayed start. So we just dropped them off at school and now we are here. Obviously, we shoveled a little path for any deliveries later today. So I'm sure there will be some. Yes, maybe, maybe they should go back outside. They have a lot of energy to burn. But this Mrs. Claus mug, This was from Pier One a couple of years ago. Isn't she cute? She's my only Mrs. Claus. But sometimes drinks just taste better. And a Santa mug or a Mrs. Claus. But I had this delivery. It actually arrived late last night. And I wanted to open it because I plan to use it this weekend. I just wanted to make sure there weren't any gifts showing too because you know how Amazon is. They'll put it all in one box and there is one. So I have to a little secret up here. Oh my gosh, the boys. But I ordered a Scout bag. I love Scout bags. I have one in the same size that we use all the time when we travel. And this one, let me open it, is it's kind of a Christmassy print, but not really. I've been needing another one just to leave in my trunk. So I'll use this one year round for sure. But it has like a fun red pattern to it. This is called the Original Dino Tote Bag. But yeah, it's just like the perfect size. We use ours when we go to the lake. Did I say ours? We use ours when we go to the lake a lot during the summertime. But I might start using this for like groceries. For my Aldi runs, you know? So, yay, I'm gonna use this for Christmas gifts and whatever else we need this weekend. Hello? Hey. Yeah? So are you ready for us? We have an awesome little present for you. Perfect. I think I got one for you too. One for me? <laughs> I think so. Nice. I thought I would show you the inside just a little bit. Oh, and you know what? They had a really cute pattern. It was like black and white with snowmen on it. It was so cute. But I thought, you know, this one I could at least get away with using year round. Doesn't scream Christmas, but anyways. But here's what the inside looks like. It's not something you could throw in the washing machine, but it does wipe down very easily. You have a little zipper pouch, and then you also have, there's a little key ring on the side there. So yeah, it's just a really nice size. Probably my favorite Scout bag that they have. My family's already asking, bring this, bring that. So I might as well just put it in here right now so I don't forget. And then I'm also, bringing this cookie dipping kit from Walmart as a little activity that we can do at some point during the weekend. 
But I'm going to finish my coffee. We're also going to eat lunch. And I thought for today's video, we would do a Christmas wrap and chat. So if you want to wrap along with me, that would be great. But I have a ton that I need to get done. And I thought we would chat, maybe listen to some Christmas music while I get it done. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you to turn our fireplace on to warm it up down here it's freezing and so now the fan is blowing so once the fan turns off that's when we'll do a little bit more chatting i just got started wrapping but this one is actually for my dad i'm so glad it came because i didn't order it very long ago but it's a fishing vest he's a big fisherman so is my brother as a matter of fact and so i ordered it off of was it Bass Pro Shops, I think, or Cabela's? Aren't they the same now? I don't even know. <laughs> I should, but I don't. But that's what that is. I definitely need to wrap that. Let me grab some wrapping paper. This gift, though, reminded me of my dad. So my brother is also a big fisherman. That's all they do all summer is enter into fishing tournaments, and that's their thing they do together. They both love it. Well... My brother actually qualified, I think he was in Wisconsin or somewhere for some sort of regional fishing tournament and he scored well enough or caught enough fish, I'm not even sure how it all works, but he qualified to represent our state, South Dakota, in like the nationwide tournament here not too long ago, actually in November, down in Louisiana. So my dad and him were down in Louisiana in this big fishing tournament and I think he took eighth place out of all of these people. So. Yeah, that was kind of exciting. That was a pretty big deal for him. And so that was kind of fun. But yeah, they're huge into fishing. I don't mind fishing. I just don't want to touch the fish or the worm. Oof, yeah, no. fireplace fan finally turned off but look at this I am having a hard time this packaging is like glued to this box 
I cannot get it off. Like, I'm just gonna rip it or leave it. Oh, come on, Coles. You know, I'm not quite sure what I all can share with you in this wrap with me video. I'm fairly confident the kids aren't watching. However, if they see a video pop up that says wrap presents with mom or crystal, I bet you they click on it. So I don't know what I should share and what I shouldn't. I don't want to spoil any surprises. This one is for Madden. It's a big one and I cannot get this packaging off. It's like the seal to repackage it. Oh dude, oh, well, good thing he probably won't care. But, so we are going to my dad's house this weekend to celebrate. And we are all very much looking forward to it. It is such a weird feeling to not have to plan, like, is Bailey coming with us or who's gonna take care of Bailey? It is very different. I still miss her very much, but I guess before we get wrapping, I had kind of an exciting thing happen. So I've really been thinking about our next dog. We do plan to get another one at some point. Like, when's the right time? When should we do it? What kind of dog do we want? Where should we be searching for one? Because I found that, and I don't think we're going to go this route, but a lot of um, breeders, if you were to go through one to get puppies, they're already planning for their spring litters. And so if we're going to do that, something we need to plan and get it, get going with basically. But I just, I was searching, I'm like, oh, it just doesn't feel right. The timing just isn't right. I don't know, I just, I think I'm ready in a way if it is the right dog. Like I'm just waiting for a sign, you know what I mean? I'm just waiting for the one. And so yesterday I was scrolling on Facebook or I actually just opened, I hadn't even scrolled yet. And the very first post was of a friend of mine on Facebook, she had shared that this rescue dog was available for adoption and to fill out your application or whatever. So they shared the story and the sweet little pictures and I honestly just fell in love. Like there was just a part of me that was like, I I have to put my application in like just, just feels right. The story was very similar to Bailey's as far as just being bored and just being super sick. And anyway, so I put it in application and I'm guessing odds are very slim that it would work out, they would choose us. It's a pretty lengthy application process and I've never gone through anything like this. I have no idea, but yeah. If it worked out, I would feel, I'd be very excited. You know, it's hard to move on, but at the same time, we also, I just know we just have so much love to give and I feel like for the right, pet we're ready so i'll keep you posted this happened just yesterday oh not even a full day yet since i put in my application and like i said i feel like there's going to be a lot of interest in this particular dog just so cute and such you know kind of a sad story but if if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but i just had to put my application in but if it's meant to be it's meant to be if not I now know about this rescue place that is actually in my hometown, so not a big deal to travel there at all. And I'll just keep my eyes open. So I've been following humane societies and just different shelters, and we'll see what happens. I, I don't know, I have zero expectations, but it would be a really, I feel like good Christmas blessing at the same time. I'm kind of nervous about it <laughs> because they have to come in and do a, well, I think since they're kind of far away, we would do like a video call where they have to assess our home and make sure we're a good fit for their pets, which I appreciate, but it makes me so nervous. So anyways, that's enough about that, but I feel like it's good news that we are feeling like we're at least open to it if it is the right animal and for some I don't know what it was about this dog but I just felt like I needed to get my name out there I did say that I have a YouTube channel and if you want to see more about who I am go check it out so that that could hurt me I don't know I really have no idea 
what to expect. But I did get another gift wrapped here, so that's good. How are you doing on your Christmas shopping? Are you done? I am done, I think. So the kids, I should go get. I had them sort all of their gifts this morning, and they, they love doing that. You know, they get to pull them out, touch them all, and just dream about what's in them. Well, they counted them, and so now I have a list on my desk of how many each child has. So once I get done wrapping, I'll go add my tally marks and determine if I need to get a couple more. You know, they don't have to be 100% all the same because some of them are different dollar amount values, like Macy's are more expensive than the twins. But we just wanna be somewhat balanced because they see that they're different, and some, I mean, they kind of understand it, that some cost more than others, but, yeah, anyways, got some books, Ethan, some little critter books, he loves little critter, both twins do, but I think Ethan is partial to them a little bit more, I so I ordered him a few of those that I think he'll really be excited about, we have quite the collection of these, um, what else, oh, my Amazon, the Echo Show 15 that I talked about, it came with a free Blink mini camera. It's an indoor camera. And then I also, I had ordered this tilt stand to put it on. I don't want to mount it. I want it to just sit on our countertop. So I had to order that separately. So now we just need the actual Echo Show to get it all set up. But I'm gonna wrap these books and move on to the next thing. have like a can light shining right on my head but these I'm excited to open this package arrived yesterday and I wanted to look so bad but of course all the kids are home and cannot spoil anything but these I purchased off of a Facebook ad I just happened to be scrolling I got into bed scrolling Facebook and of course the ad got me so I'm gonna love them oh, but they are name blankets from the company called Caden Lane. And they are really into anything that has their name. I think it has something to do with, you know, they're twins and so they're used to having to share lots of things. So to have things that are just theirs and theirs only is very important to them. And so the color on this one, I suppose it's red. I was, I think, hoping it was a little bit brighter red, but I got Ethan Red, his favorite. It has his name all over it. I don't think I'll open them, but, and then Andrew, he's really been into blue lately, not green anymore. So I think they're going to love those. And they should look pretty cute on their bed after Christmas here. I'm gonna wrap those. But yeah, I had just a long list of things to talk to you about, and of course they didn't write them down. And oh, I'll remember it, and here we are. But what else is going on around here? I do have an announcement coming. I've been waiting for the right timing. It just hasn't felt right. It's very exciting news for us. So I'm thinking at the beginning of the year, I'm going to share my big announcement here. It's been in the process for four or five months now. It's been a long time coming. I just haven't shared it yet. And I don't like when people do that. It drives me crazy when people in oh, I have a secret and I'm not gonna share it. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait. I wanna do something special to share it with you and I just haven't had time. I really haven't. So, not having a baby. So do not even ask that question. Oh, so 
you remember last year I did a whole wrapping station down here. I used this shelf and I set up like one shelf I had bows and one I had all my tags and then the next one I had different uh, all my tape and supplies. Well this year I didn't do that. One, Macy actually stole that shelf. She has it over in her school area. She has her library set up on it, so I didn't set it up this year. But I've just been using our entertainment center. Want this cupboard? I just hide all my wrapping supplies in there when I'm done. I do miss my little wrapping station, though. That was nice. And this year, I didn't even go. I didn't even buy bows. I looked at them. I held them. I almost put them on my cart. I'm like, yeah, we don't need to do bows this year. We'll be okay. So. No bows, just wrapping. I don't use a lot of gift bags either at Christmas time. I don't know, there's just joy in ripping open your package, I feel like, so lots of wrapping involved, but yeah. I still cannot believe Christmas is like almost here. I actually, I gotta focus here a second from mom and dad. <laughs> I actually get very sad after the holidays are over just because we have, you know, there's so much fun, so much fun, so much planning and preparation and activities and that all just comes to an end and you have to take down all your decor. And to me, I just get really sad. So I'm at least last year I did. I hope this year I am not as much. I am looking forward to getting our new carpet upstairs installed, so I know that that will keep me busy. So we'll see. But yeah, it is, do they call it the holiday? I don't know what they call it, post-holiday blues or something like that. I definitely do get that way. Um, it's hard to focus and wrapping <laughs> the same goes with laundry chats whenever I would record those and I would try to like fold clothes but also have a really good conversation with you I had piles everywhere and they made no sense I caused myself so much extra work but anyways where was I going with this after Christmas so I wanted to do actually a big declutter before Christmas but I feel like it might actually just be better to do it when I'm cleaning out the rooms here for our new carpet because I have to go through each of the kids' bedrooms, move out all their furniture. It just makes the most sense to do it then and not cause myself double work. So I might declutter the kitchen, like my cabinets could use a good clean out. They're getting quite full. But as far as like the other rooms in the house, I'm just gonna wait until we get our carpet which will be here right after the holidays. So we need to get going on that once the kids are back in school. So speaking of that, oh, that was the other thing. Uh, the kids get out of school. So Macy and Madden are out on the 23rd. So no, they don't have school on the 23rd, but the twins do. And then they're all off a break till I believe January 3rd. So I was thinking that on that first day of break, since the twins only go in the morning, we might try to go to a movie in the movie theater. Try to do something fun to get out of the house. Otherwise, we're all just sitting around waiting for Christmas and it just drags on. So, yeah. I'm thinking we should go to the movie Encanto. I've heard such good things about it. Let me know if you've seen it and what you think of it. I was kind of hoping there would be a more Christmassy type bit, like movie to go see, but doesn't seem like there is going to be. And our theater, I don't think has any fun like shows where they show older Christmas movies either. So yeah, I'm thinking Encanto. Although Clifford, I heard some people really liked that movie too, but I don't know if that's still in our theater or not. I'll have to check. So yeah, trying to just come up with different ways to entertain the kids. So Christmas Eve, we don't start doing anything really till at evening. We'll go to church and then we usually go over to my mother-in-law's and spend Christmas there. And then we'll come home that same night. She just lives like a couple of blocks away. And then in the morning we'll do our family Christmas and Santa will have come. So it all goes really fast, but we, we do a lot of Christmas because <laughs> 
between just both sides of our families and then my parents are both remarried so are my husband's we just we do a lot of christmas celebrating so it's really fun but it gets very busy at the same time so okay i need another gift to wrap which should we open next oh let me get my husband i know he does not watch my videos watch this would be the one he does although i don't think he will Let me know if you're enjoying today's video, rapping and chatting. I could chat all day. I might leave this receipt in here just in case he doesn't like it. So, cause he's very particular about this. This is actually a new wallet. So he's had the same wallet since we started dating. I mean, so this is, we're going on what? I don't even know how many years we've been married. <laughs> I mean, this wall has to be like 15 years old. So I thought, you know, let me see uh, if I can get him a new one. I actually bought him, oh, this one's nice. It's just a black. He prefers a trifold wallet. And there was uh, a Christmas many years ago that I ordered him a coach wallet and I was so proud of it, but it was a bifold and he never used it, so. I don't know if he'll want to use this one or if he's going to say, I just would rather stick with the same wallet I've had for 20 years. So we're going to leave the receipt in this one. Johnston and Murphy. I don't think I've ever bought anything that brand. I bet I have a piece of smaller wrapping paper that would fit this though. Well, no, I'm going to leave it in the box. Well, I had to patch a hole there. A big hole? Yeah. So he can't see what's in it. 
But these guys are awake now, scoping out the situation. But I have two more left that I'm going to wrap. They are in these boxes from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I can't share it with you what they are though. I'm so sorry, but maybe you will see it in one of our upcoming Christmas vlogs. I'm so excited about these. These are for both of my parents. They're kind of pretty not even wrapped, aren't they? Should we wrap them or just leave them like this? We'll wrap them. officially all caught up on my wrapping. I do still have a few final gifts arriving, but wow, that feels so good. Uh-oh, be careful. There's one that's Madden's. Oh yeah, this one for his class exchange. They're exchanging art supplies, so the markers. So we'll set that out so we can bring that to school tomorrow. Just so it's one thing off of my plate. Don't have to worry about it. Okay, are you gonna carry those up? Yeah. All right. Oh. This one. You okay? No. Oh, this one had got a hole in it already, so I just patched it up, you know, professionally and all. With some scrap paper. Mom, this one has a little hole. It look. Oh, this one can. Oh yeah, this one can stay down here. I need to take this to another gift. Okay, my friends, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I have started running kids all around. Also need to make dinner and I might try to relax just for a little bit. But I think the next video that you see will be us heading for our first official Christmas, bits and pieces of it anyways. And I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good time. So I'll be packing and preparing all day tomorrow. We are also going to a Christmas concert, which will be really fun. So I'll bring you along to that. But I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for today's Vlogmas video. Let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying it as well. We are two weeks now with four videos, and I'm hoping to share that again next week to finish out our 12 days of Vlogmas. But anyways, thank you, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.